Gem is a set collecting game in which you bid on jewels by leveraging assets to become the jeweler with the largest, most valuable collection to win the game. Separate the money cards from the gem cards. Each player takes a 1, 2, and 3 coin card and places them in his playing area, coin side up, with the invested green banner side up. Shuffle the gem cards and deal out 6 stacks, 1 stack of 4, 4 stacks of 3, and 1 stack of 2, face down near the side of the playing area. For a 3 player game, deal out 6 piles of 3. In gem, there are 6 rounds, each with an auction phase and a reinvestment phase. In the auction phase, take the furthest pile of gem cards on the left and turn them face up in the center of the playing area. Orient the face up gem cards so that the leverage sides and the invested sides match. In subsequent rounds, use the remaining gem piles in order for the auctions. The opening bidder makes a bid, zero or higher, without indicating his gem card of choice. In a bidding round, players only make a single, one-time bid in clockwise order. The bid must be higher than the previous bid, and a bidder must have assets to pay for his bid should he win the auction. Bids may not exceed what a player is able to pay. Players may pass in a single auction and may immediately participate in the next auction. After a turn of bids, the highest bidder pays the amount bid by rotating coin and or gem cards. Only cards with the green invested side up may be used. The sum of the rotated cards must equal or exceed the amount bid. There is no change given where payment exceeds the amount bid. The player selects one gem card from those available and places it in front of himself with the red leverage side up. It is possible for a bid of zero to win the auction. The next player in clockwise order after the highest bidder becomes the opening bidder of the remaining gem cards and the auction turn continues until all cards from the stack have been won. Beginning with the player who won the last gem card in the auction phase, they may use any available coin and or gem cards with the green side up to reinvest in any gem cards that are leveraged, red side up. To pay for this reinvestment, the payment cards are flipped to their leveraged side up, creating a sum equal or higher than the target card's leveraged value. Rotate all available cards you wish to use to its leveraged side up. This amount becomes available to split any way. In order to reinvest in any number of cards, this amount will allow. Again, there is no change given in the event of an overpayment. The next player in clockwise order may now reinvest, and each player after continuing clockwise. After each player has had the opportunity to reinvest in their collection, all players rotate their coin cards to their invested green side up position, making them available for the next round. Repeat the full sequence of play, auction phase, then reinvestment for the remaining rounds. In the final auction phase, round six, the cards are won with the green invested side up and may be leveraged immediately. The game ends after the reinvestment phase of the sixth and final round. It's likely that some gem cards will remain leveraged after the last reinvestment phase. At the end of the game, leverage cards are not included in scoring and are considered out of the game. Each player calculates their score as follows. One point for each gem that is on a card that is green side up. A bonus two points if a player shares with another player the same amount of a gem type. And a bonus three points if a player has the most of a type of gem. The player with the most points is the winner. In the case of a tie, the winner is the player with the most gems.